Hey there, Taurus. Welcome to your general money, career, and finance reading. This is for mid-April to the end of April. Thank you guys so much for all the love and support. Those of you that have continued to support me during these crazy times, thank you so much for my subscribers for returning. If you are new to me, welcome. I appreciate you stopping by. Please give it a thumbs up, like, share, comment, and subscribe. Uh, make sure you double tap that bell when you hit the subscribe button so you get notified of all the readings that are coming in. Um, thank you guys for everything. I know I've been gone for a couple, you know, a couple months. Uh, I am back, you know, adjusting, you know, as we all are to these quarantine times. So I did do a quarantine collective healing reading. I'm going to link that up here if you are interested. I'll probably be doing those on a weekly basis. Uh, for those of you that may be having a hard time through this quarantine pandemic time and maybe need some healing messages. So a lot of things are probably going to be uh, changing with this channel. I am working from home now uh, for the time being, so I may be bringing you more readings. If you're wondering about your love life reading, I am going to record that separately. These are going to be quick, short readings. Uh, for your general finance, career, money, energy readings uh, for the rest of this month, your monthly readings will resume shortly. I've also started my Patreon account. So any reading that I extend from here, you'll have full access to on Patreon if you sign up with my Patreon. Uh, if you'd like to book a personal reading, the link is in the description box below and you can book a personal reading. Um, if I think of anything else, I'll go ahead and shout it out. In the meantime, remember that the sign with the most likes and the most views gets um, an extended bonus reading for the following month. So be sure to hit that uh, like button so that I can give you guys an extended bonus reading here, okay? So what's going on, Taurus? Sun, moon, rising, and Venus signs for your career. Money, career, finance. Some of you guys are, you know going through some times where you're getting some, you know, really vivid dreams, maybe some odd messages. They're odd to you because this isn't something that you're used to. Blossoming abundance for some of you, yes. Uh, back to that Archangel Metatron card. And this is, by the way, if I didn't already say it, sorry. I've, I'm still trying to get everything back in order. Um, Taurus, Sun, Moon, and Rising Sign. Um, Archangel Metatron is, you know, connecting with you on a higher level. Uh, you may be um, experiencing, you know, certain visions, inner knowing. You may be experiencing, um, it's almost as though you can feel or hear someone communicating with you. The dreams seem a bit prophetic. If you may be going through this time, um, reach out to Archangel Metatron to assist you in getting clear messages from him. So we're going to do um, money, career, and overall financial situation for you guys, okay? Like I said, your love life reading will be recorded separately and I'll link it at the end of this reading. I will try to link it up here once that's recorded. These are going to be short readings, just mid-April to the end of April. So here we go. Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, and um, no, no Venus because we're not doing love. <laughs> Sorry. You guys, I don't know what is going on. I tried to do that Virgo reading I don't know how many times. Last night's reading I recorded disappeared, but something's going on. I know that I had mentioned, um, I want to say in February, that my earth signs were really going through it. There was something going on in the air. I couldn't pinpoint it. Major energetic highs and lows, downloads. I felt as though it was so much information so many downloads coming at you at one time you, you may have felt like you were going crazy trying to make sense of everything i see it now as you know as an earth sign or if you have heavy earth placements um we were a lot more sensitive earth signs we were a lot more sensitive to the changes that were taking place globally 
Mother Nature trying to heal herself, you know, Mother Gaia. So if you've been experiencing that probably since January, since the beginning of the year, where you probably even thought there was something medically wrong with you, and your doctor says, nope, nothing wrong with you. <laughs> Spiritually and energetically, you may be vibing on a different level. So you are much more emotionally sensitive and energetically sensitive to, you know, the situation that's going on around us globally. And if you haven't gotten medical advice, I definitely suggest that you do so to clear out, you know, anything that, you know, may or may not be wrong with you if you have medical problems that you're just not aware of. So here we go. Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising. Um, money, career, overall financial situation. Okay, and then we'll clarify from there. Taurus, money. What's the money situation for Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising signs? The door to spirit, just like I said. <laughs> Some of you guys have been feeling, you know, sensitive because you are elevating at a higher level here, right? You're connecting with spirit, with the energies um, around you. And for some of you, this may be new to you. You're just not sure. So the card of deceit and rest and rejuvenation have been peeking out. So some of you may have gone through something recently or are in the middle of it right now where someone may be deceiving you, dealing with you know, deceit around you, not sure who you can trust. You don't want to be paranoid and assume you can't trust everybody, but please be careful. That rest and rejuvenation card tells me that you should take a time out however you can just to connect to your higher self. Ask Archangel Gabriel for clear communication and ask Archangel Michael to assist you in illuminating who you need to be aware of when it comes to that deception to cut away those ties to relationships that are not for your highest good so let's move on to your career Taurus career a card for Taurus's career situation card of action in reverse tells me it's inaction possibly because of this quarantine you're not working right now you've been furloughed you've lost your job you're not quite sure what to do you feel like you're stuck nothing is moving forward for you overall financial situation advice for Taurus please broken heart now I don't want you to freak out with that broken heart card the card of appreciation this did come out on the healing Quarantine collective readings, so maybe check that reading out for you. That is for the collective, all of us that are in quarantine, and it is timeless, so any time that you catch that reading will apply for you. But I just want to let you know before you start worrying about that broken heart, that card of the broken heart is the card, I mean, if you look at it, yes, it's broken, it's grieving, it still has a tear to shed, but mind you, a tear just one you know when you've cried so much and you just can't cry anymore it's like your eyes are dry and if you notice here this looks like it's already been mending and it's on the path to mending itself and if it means crying your last tears before things start moving forward then honey that's what you got to do right so let's get back over here to door to spirit you may be receiving, as I said, probably since January, December, January, but I really felt it January, February for myself. I remember saying in one of the readings, and I don't remember whose reading it was, but I remember saying the earth signs were going to feel something. I really need to do a reading for the earth signs because I'm feeling like these highs and lows energetically, emotionally, spiritually. Um, and it was just... It was just in the earth, in the grounding. I could just feel like something was coming towards us. And, you know, because I I tend to have a crazy work schedule, I just never got around to doing it. And unfortunately, I'm kicking myself for that. But now that I'm working from home, I am working on a schedule. Once that schedule, I, once I have that schedule finalized and I have a better idea of what's 
going to happen for me while I work from home, I will post it up on my community tab so that you guys have an idea because I will be going live here and I will be going back to my Instagram and doing a weekly live reading there. So here we go, door to spirit, money situation, your current money. You're going through your spiritual awakening here. Uh-huh. Absolutely. The tower and the wheel of fortune. My goodness. Calls for strength. Look at that. Taurus, I know that it may feel like times are at their toughest. You can't. It's like, it's like. A part of you feels like, I shouldn't be this worried. I shouldn't be this stressed out. And then before you know it, just at your calmest moments, it's like, bam, that tower moment comes back. And you're just like, where the hell did that shit come from? Where is that tower energy coming from? Why do I all of a sudden feel like crying? Why am I feeling like I'm short of breath? Do I got the corona too? What's going on? And you're just out of your mind thinking and overthinking. The wheel of fortune is yes, things are turning in your favor. Connect with your higher self, with your spirit guides and guardian angels. Call into your ancestors to help guide you, to give you the strength, the courage, the fortitude to start over again. Because like it or not, just like the earth, mother nature is starting all over again rejuvenating itself. This is also a time for us to take advantage of this quarantine time to try to find our path. Ask your guides to assist you in illuminating that path for you. Let me have one more card. I do see positive new beginnings for you. And even if it's, you know, not like a new beginning in terms of, you know, while I still have my job, how is that a new beginning? I'm going back to the to the same job or whatever your situation, right? It, it doesn't mean that it's something completely new. However, if you have not yet felt the shift in energy in the air, it, you know, in everything that's going on around you, you know, globally, spiritually, emotionally, energetically, Taurus, take some time to really break down everything that has happened in the last few months so that you can see that, yes, this is a new beginning. Even if it's the same, you know, place of employment, same amount of money that you were earning before, whatever it may be, maybe you haven't even suffered a loss financially like some people have. But it's eye-opening. That was important for someone because the Archangel Metatron card just popped into my head. It's eye-opening that yes, things have to change. And it's a new beginning because you have a new outlook on life, on what your path is. And so maybe now you're not going to be dreading going to work. Maybe you're going to be hop, skip and jumping and whatever on your way into work. Maybe you show a little more gratitude than you normally did for the smaller things because your perspective has shifted in a positive way and whether you're still in this tower energy of anxiety of worry of a fear of what's to come i'm so scared of this wheel of fortune because you don't know what the hell that wheel of fortune is going to bring to you how you handle this in your strength leaning on that door to spirit your spirit guides and guardian angels they will help you get through this believe me Take a moment to connect with your higher self, the energies in the spiritual realm. Do some meditation. You will get the answers, the direction that you seek. And so with your career, the card of action in reverse, which tells me it's more or less inaction, right? Things aren't moving forward for you right now uh, in your career, perhaps because you've been furloughed, you've been laid off, and you're wondering what's going to happen now. Do I still have a job to go to once this quarantine is over? 
And those of you that are my essential workers, I thank you. I send you love, healing, strength, courage, protection, the energies that you may need. Take them, receive them, protect yourself. But some of you are wondering what is going to happen at the end of this when it's all said and done. When it's all said and done, do I still have my job? When it's all said and done, will I still be able to make ends meet? And right now you feel like nothing is moving in your favor because you're not really going anywhere. And those of you that are my frontline workers, no matter the area of expertise that you may be in, from grocery store clerks to, you know, the stalkers at the shops to police, fire, waste management, uh, doctors, uh, security, um, nurses, whatever it may be. The cleaning people that are disinfecting every single thing, that cleaning crew that comes in, that's usually the unnoticed people. I see you. Scared as fuck to catch that Rona, right? Some of you feel like yeah, I still have a job. I get up and I go to it every day. But nothing's changing. People still aren't. It's a stalemate. People still aren't appreciating what I do. I don't have hazard pay. Turns out one of my coworkers might have it. What's going to happen to me, my family? My, I, can't, I can't quarantine with, you know, children in my home or maybe a parent yeah see that's what's got you at a standstill thinking and overthinking if and when you got the virus those of you that have been furloughed or laid off and you're just like i can't move forward because who's hiring right now nobody's freaking hiring right now other than the frontline people and if i can i'd like to work from home i'm, I'm not I'm not in a situation where I can put myself out there. Either way, you feel like you've been abandoned by, you know, by your job, by society, by your leaders, whoever it may be. I feel as though some of you are feeling a deep sense of disappointment and like, I just have to say, someone here is like, how the fuck are you going to shut down the economy and then try to offer me kibbles with that little ass stimulus check, right? That's supposed to help me pay the mortgage, the groceries? Okay, so I could pay the mortgage, but now I don't have money for groceries. You're gonna eat the carpet? What, what are we gonna do? It's like you're appalled. It's all talk, no action. That's what I'm hearing. You're sick and tired of the government. You know, stop watching the news. <laughs> and the more you isolate yourself, you go into hermit mode and you're just like, spirit guides, guardian angels, please shine a light on the truth. Make this shit end. I've had it. Give me a sign. Show me the way. How can I get through this? I've put enough work into my situation, into myself. All this time, money, effort, I've put in at my job, career, whatever. And now to be just put out like that. I don't know why all of a sudden I heard that Cypress Hill song. I think it's Cypress Hill. Going out. How does it go? We ain't going out like that. I can't remember been so long sorry if you're not a cypress hill fan or whatever but that song just came to mind some of you guys need to bump that song <laughs> anyway i'm just saying so let's see your overall um financial situation the broken heart that is the broken heart that's healing that's mending that's already gone through this anxiety that's at a stalemate feel like your life is on hold you can't go nowhere you're sick and tired of just you know sitting on your couch watching the freaking news wondering what's going to happen next for your family you know financially your home 
Um, you, you can drive yourself crazy if you do that. It's it's time to keep yourself busy. Find a hobby. Do something else. Read. Learn something new. Watch something on YouTube that will teach you how to create, I don't know, whatever you want to learn that you've always wanted to learn. Now is the time to use it to your advantage. So with the broken heart, it is healing. There are new opportunities coming. See the card of healing with the star card, Aquarius. Yes, hold on to the money. As much as some people might be like, what do you mean you haven't spent your stimulus? And you're just like, really? We don't know when the economy is going to open back up. We don't know when we're going back to work. I don't even know if I have a job when this is all said and done. I am going to hold on to that. You're keeping certain things hidden because you just don't know what the end result is going to be here. Stay balanced, stay grounded, stay centered. You do have new beginnings that are coming, coming at the end of this. Look at that, three major arcanas. Right now it feels the heaviest or you may have already felt the heaviest for some time but trust me when I tell you this Taurus we're about to jump over the hurdle it is safe for you to receive the more you allow yourself to receive the more resources you have available to share with others open your arms to receive and be a conduit for good coming to you and through you as it blesses the world so I feel that some of you guys maybe have had a pause or hiccups in your financial situation in receiving. The inaction may not necessarily be from you. I just got this message, so I have to say it. Uh, it may have been like, okay, you're furloughed. Don't worry, we're still going to pay you, but then you're still waiting for your check. It's that kind of thing. Something that um, you may have been missing that was a part of making this happen streamlining it streamlining it so that you never miss a beat you never miss a payment you never miss whatever there may be some hiccups along the way but it's coming to you it is absolutely before i end this reading i'm going to pull an angel answers card what does taurus need to know about their financial situation What does Taurus need to know about their financial situation? The answer is yes. Whatever you were worried about, thinking about, when I said that about hiccups along the way, worried about your money not coming in, it is fucking slow. This can also be you as the Knight of Pentacles, but that money is coming in, yes. I feel like telling you, listen, look at that. She's got her arms out. It is safe for you to receive. She is receiving that abundance, that opportunity, that new, you know, that whether it's new or a continuation of your current financial situation, it's there for you. As you decrease the weir, the, the, the weir, <laughs> the fear and the worry, the more you are opening yourself and allowing yourself to receive for what's to come. Taurus, this is your financial situation. Money, career, and finance for mid to end of April. Please give it a thumbs up, like, share, comment, and subscribe. We'll all be okay, don't worry. Check out your other placement readings. Um, if you're not sure about your placements, there is a link in the description box below and you can get a free natal chart. Taurus. Take care. I send you lots of love, healing, strength, courage, and fortitude. We'll see you for your next month's reading. Bye.